Hello, this is Pete Sunderwell and Kitty Reiser. And I am blowing it on Capital Chaos TV. This is uh, Zoran Diodorovich with Capital Chaos TV, and we have Pete Sunderbar with Terrorizer on the phone. How are you doing, Pete? Hey, I'm doing great, man. Enjoying it here down in Florida, waiting for the, uh, uh, for the storm to hit, to hit us, you know, can't wait. It's going to be just an adventure. This is, uh, this is a common occurrence for you and where you live, uh, massive storms. Is, this, is that correct? Well, I, yeah, it's the season of the hurricanes, man. It's a hurricane call. I think it's Michael or something. It's going by us like today, but it's not like close to the side of uh, the side of where we are now, the Tampa area. It's like 300 kilometers, I think, you know, into uh, the ocean. So it's like going more towards north, you know what I mean? Going a little bit, you see the news, going towards Panama City and areas like that is going to get hit really bad, you know. We're just going to get some rain and stuff, I think. I hope we get some rain, you know. <laughs> so you have, a, you have a brand new album coming out this week, right? Uh, Caustic Attack, is that right? Yeah, I think it's the 12, yeah, in a couple of days, hopefully, yeah, finally. The, the end records is putting that out in uh, in physical form, correct? I think so. Oh, yeah. It, it, it will become, I'm assuming it will be coming out on uh, all the media, it will be coming out on vinyl. Will, it, will there be vinyl of this uh, of this particular album? I don't know, and it all depends how it does and what the demand is once it's out, you know what I mean? Because it all depends on how the reception, how the how people want to accept it, the majority of the fans, and if they want to buy, and I don't know, you know what I mean? Because you know how many people give up on Terrorizer years, years ago after the host of zombies because we didn't do nothing. We caught the host of zombies and then no touring. Why? Because my bag was still, I was still going with these back problems. But, um... Hopefully, I mean, once you uh, you have a review for this album already, or you have anything to tell me? What do you think about it? I mean, what's your, you know, some people have a little bit different views, you know. I listened to it last night, and it's a great album. I think there's a, a lot of good, there's a lot of songs in this particular album that are going to be Terrorizer Classics. <laughs> classics, yeah, that would be a great name. I think, uh, Tell me about uh, weekend, uh, like triumphantly, like triumphantly. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, some of my, some of my favorites are uh, 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 Crisis. And, oh, uh, Crisis! Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, the the downtrodden. Downtrodden is a is a seven string song. That's a little heavier. So that is a seven string. So it sounds a little. The sound is a little bit different slightly. Of the other songs. I don't know how many seven string songs he did, maybe two. Because we recorded like 19 songs actually, but we haven't, we just put 14 on the album. So we already have the other ones for the next one. That we are about to kind of get it out. <laughs> what are your favorites on the new album? Oh, you know what? There, there is on this album, you cannot just name one favorite one because everyone, it's not like all songs are great, it's just that everyone, it's, uh, it's it's a uh, a different movie, a different um, kind of journey from beginning to end. Like like I would say, the the opening track of this album is a mighty opening, you know, uh, uh, with turbulence. That song kind of uh, kind of says the statement right away. You know, right off the bat, it tells you this is what we're coming to do on this album with the first opening of the album, and then comes. You know, and then the next song is the invasion song that we have out already, which is another one, a striking Blanco style. We're going into the stuff, into the, um, I can't remember the third one, but, uh, another favorite song, of course, I like Infiltration a lot. I, 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 I like, um, uh, a Trace of Corruption is another great song for me, just because another reason has got all this, all this different drum. Drum kind of, 
What is the drumming going with the double bass downbeat? I think it fits quite well to the song. And then, um, uh, Trail Assassin is another great favorite of mine, along with Sharp Knives. And then, uh, Caustic Attack title album is a short little song that is pretty beautifully, uh, Grindcore song. Usually it's super furious fast. And then Crisis is a different style. It's a triple timing. It's a more of a kind of rapture, uh, the rapture, more of angel song feeling that one, two, three, da, 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 da. And nothing like, uh, what the Rapture used to be on in like one, two, three, four, ba, 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 you know what I mean? This is like, ba, 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 ba. And then the closing track for this album, Wasteland, is another furious closing. You know, it's another brutal one. And, um, and yeah, bro, there's uh, quite a few good ones, you know. How, uh, how influential was Slayer to you, uh, as a, as a young person? Oh, very much, bro, because I grew up with Sean and Mercy. Actually, that was one of my first thrash metal albums I heard in my life before, after the Kill Em All from Metallica. And that was a very big influence, those two albums. Um, uh, uh, Kill Em All and uh, Sean and Mercy, bro, and then Hunting the Chapel, of course. I was playing the songs over and over. That was the beginning for me to turn into like a heavy metal, into like a thrash screen metal drummer right away. You know what I mean? Practicing it like, uh, because everything I know is ear learning. I, I learn, I learn everything by ear. You know what I mean? And that's how I picked up the, the skank beat, the slayer beat. You know what she's called, the skank beat. I picked it up with, uh, Kill Em All from Metallica, Invention of Mercy. And then some other albums created had an album in this, uh, in this thing that have a lot of, uh, the skank beat feeling, uh, and then there was, uh, also, you know, uh, this European invasion with Sodom creator, uh, you name it, Bathory, whatever. But, uh, Slayer had a lot of influence for me as far as the drumming part. Devin Bardo did a lot of, uh, but then you know how you know from there I took it to the next level to sort of do the blast beat, you know what I mean? And, uh, you've, you've been called the, uh, the father of the blast beat. Is that, we do consider that to be an accurate, accurate statement. Yeah. But I am, well, well, I would say, you know, there's no, like, uh, not much to this, to, to argue about the fact that, uh, I'm not gonna say I was the first one to do the blast beat, you know, whatever. There were other drummers before. There was a drummer for Repulsion back then, Repulsion, um uh, Back in 87, I mean, we had demos too. So we also had 86, we had 86, 87, we had those demos that we recorded when Jesse and Oscar when I was living in LA. And we did those, those demos. So there was already some blast beat going on by Repulsion, by uh, another band that was, was Cryptic Slaughter, even though it wasn't like the super fast blast beat, but it was like the one foot, you know, ta 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 And then there was uh, also the, the Nippon did. They were doing it back in 1987. I don't know how, but uh, that was, uh, you know, I never knew about him, you know. When I did my thing, I did it on my own. I did what I did. It came out for me. It came from me practicing, but just like practicing, I didn't even know about repulsion or Nathan Dead back those years, you know. But Slayer, Metallica, Doctors, you know, Dark Angel, um, you know, and also Killers from Iron Maiden, uh, Clive has a lot to do with, uh, with a lot of some of the influence for me as far as, you know, my drumming. Did you, uh, did you ever consider trying out for Slayer or even Megadeth when they, uh, when they had drumming opening, drummer openings. Uh, and also, what years were that? Like, uh, what year, what albums of Morbid Angel had during the oldest openings? Do you remember? Was that like, uh, when Steve was in the band during those years? Gateway's Annihilation, um, Heretic, during those years, you see? Because so they had a couple, you know, times when they made changes. It was a time when they came back and then left again, you know, and then Tyler the was poor was with them. And then they came back and then he couldn't work with them. And then Paul is back, right? But uh, I didn't occur to me to try out because, to be honest with you, I don't remember 
what was going on in my life quite then, then, you know. And also, I wasn't as, as, I didn't feel myself as professional. And, and as, uh, I didn't have the time, you know what I mean? Like, because you have to give it a hundred percent time to whatever you want to give it a try out. So I didn't think about giving it a try out because anyways, later I would just do it for the, for the money anyways, even though I like the songs and everything. But, uh, I think I still, you know, I will miss playing the blast beat. You know uh, what I mean? What's the blast beat, which I usually do, you know, in most of the songs. Slayer has no blast beat, so that's why I didn't think about joining them. Now, you work with Jason, Jason Supas, is the producer on this album, and I think he... Jason Supas. Jason Supas. Yeah. Did I pronounce that name yeah. correct? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, you got it. Circle. Circle. I don't even know if I pronounce it right, but his first name is Jason, from Audio Hammers to San Francisco, Florida. Exactly. That's what we were recording. He's an amazing producer. The album sounds great. Oh, yeah, but the production, what do you think about it? It's in a great production, you know? I don't think we're missing anything on this album, you know what I mean? We got plenty of material, 14 songs from beginning to end, and all songs are just, you know, no letdowns, you know? So, so, I mean, it's so fast for those that like the fast thing, but not just fast, you know what I mean? We got a lot of changes too, a lot of slow parts. Ooh. What keeps you passionate about Terrorizer and metal after all these years? It's because you know, I mean, the thing is that you realize that when you do something since when you are since like the twenties, early twenties, which was was the case when I was with Terrorizer, I was in my late eight, eighteens. Was my you know. I joined Mother Angel like in my early 20s, you young, and, you know, all you want to pursue is the goal that you always have, become a fast drummer, but do, do this other way, with a blast beat, which eventually started to build, to build, to build, because that's how bands, small bands started to come in, coming in with a blast beat. You know, the one for blast beat and the other bass blast beat, and then there's like three or four different kinds of blast beat in them right there. But, but, but what keeps me going is the love, is like we realize that this is the only thing that we, we know how to do, or we, we enjoy doing it, we were kids, you know, it's like a job, you know. Uh, you, you look at a job that you enjoy doing, you know what I mean? Not a job that you hate doing. So a lot of people may have a job that you hate doing, that's why we call it a job. And it's a job of a musician, which if you are a great musician, uh, uh, there's some decisions that have it easy, you know, they're, they're brave, but they don't have to, to sacrifice themselves to play so fast as fast as drummers, you know, as it's concerned, I have to play fast, it's a very physical, it's a very physical challenge, a mental too, uh, but what gets me going is this, that, uh, the, the, the one, you know, I feel the decide to keep doing it, I don't want to, I don't want to say, okay, please, it's done, it's too old to do it now, finally, it's better to give up, no, no, it's not yet, it's not over yet, and secondly, you realize that the fans want you back, and then you realize that that's the only thing that you enjoy doing all your life, and you, hey, you want to do it again, because after all, I haven't, you know, I haven't done any work for like, uh, since 2008, 2000, and, uh, whatever, when we did a tour with Marvel, I can't, I can't even remember when we did an actual tour with Mother Angel, we did festivals, that's it, 2008, 2006, now, I haven't done a real tour, uh, so, hey, and it's been a job, so I've been out of a, out of a job for so many years, I've been broke, I need money, I need to work, People want me back. I can do the songs. We did a killer album. It's coming now. I'm working on a on a side project also. Another project that's gonna destroy. That's gonna come pretty soon. Early next year is coming another album with another band, another project because I'm working and working and working this time. Because I realize the time is is, is gold, you know what I mean? And the older you get, hey, hey, you know, you gotta hurry up. I lost so much time in my past. Uh, on advice to all the young drummers, don't waste your time, man. Take advantage of your time, whatever free time you get to play, to create, to get better at whatever you do. Get, take advantage of that time and the free time because you don't know, uh, 
Rain would be the next time when you had a lot of time to work on whatever you love, you love doing, you know what I mean? And that's it, man. It's um, all of them, all of the above, all of the above. Excellent. Well, welcome back. We uh, look forward to catching you on tour. The album is amazing, and uh, I'm sure it's going to do well. And uh, I look forward to uh, catching you when you come out to California. Cool, bro. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it, man.